I'm Ashley Reed, and you're now watching A3C TV. I think that this conversation is important to have um, anywhere. Yeah. You can have it, really. I mean, I have this conversation with my Uber driver. I have this conversation <laughs> with my family. And, you know, that's really about how it spreads. It's really taking the time to talk about these things. You know, in, in social media, we do a lot of hashtagging. Um, Black Lives Matter has been an incredible movement in terms of creating conversation and keeping awareness going, but it has to be a step beyond that at this point. You know, one thing that I ask people all the time is, do you want change? Yes. Do you know solutions? And nobody does. Right. Um, so one thing that we focus on are real solutions um, and the best way to even um, the best way to even procure that is to spread it through speaking anywhere. You know, I know this is a, a conference about music, but music drives our, our culture yeah. so much. So there's a big power and responsibility um, and just what we put out there as artists. So I definitely, so right. why do you think like it stops there? Well, we have been conditioned to have an instant gratification culture. Mm -hmm. If you think about it, even when we started uh, watching TV, imagine changing channels and in one channel you see a war, the next channel you see a cartoon, the next channel you see a sitcom. What it ends up doing is it desensitizes us to the pain of others. Mm -hmm. It turns everything into entertainment, everything. So. What it does is it creates almost like we all have ADHD in a way when it comes to empathy, yeah. we do. And what it does is it, it makes it so that we lack tenacity in actually getting up and doing something. We can sit and scroll and post all day and have arguments with people on Facebook and hashtag this and hashtag that. And we are in a society where that's become enough for us. Um, we are comfortable and complacent in a way that completely goes against um, our real integrity and and even understanding our rights as human beings. It takes sacrifice and it really takes getting up and doing something about it. The organization right now is kind of underground. Okay. Uh, we we uh, poke out our heads when we do things like this, when um, we, we come out and we speak, et cetera. We will go live eventually, okay. but right now, some of the things that we're doing and building, it's best to just kind of do it a little bit, you know, more quietly. Um, but I would say in terms of just wanting to understand your human rights a little bit better, the best thing to do is just to start asking questions. Mm -hmm. Questions that you might not have even considered asking before. Asking, why do we keep seeing in the media um, black people, disenfranchised people dying. Why do we keep seeing that when there's five major corporations that own the media? Yeah. You just start, you have to start asking different questions to understand your role in everything and to have personal accountability. So I would say to start, ask some questions. I would say do one thing every day that puts a little bit of extra good out into this world. I don't care what it is, um, but every day try to be of service to making things a bit better and just keep looking out for the People Assembly because we're around.